So in this video we'll script that zoom in and out effect that you see in games like Cyberpunk and Firewatch. For example, if I hit play and if I click on this right mouse button you'll see the effect zoom in and out. Now to achieve this effect there are a few ways to do that and we'll focus on the simplest one in this video. Let's pause this game and go to world camera. Now this is the world camera that is here and in the camera component you will find a field of view option which is set to 70. In your game it will be different or maybe the same and if you reduce this number you'll see camera zooms in and if you increase this number camera zooms out. Let's go back to 70. Now we'll implement the code to change this number and give it this nice effect that you saw earlier. Now usually I'll put the code in one of the existing scripts but for the sake of this video I'll create a new script and give it name zoom effect. And attach this script to player and open it in Visual Studio. We don't need the start method. Let's create a few variables. The first one is accessing the game camera. So we'll create a new public camera game object and give it name main camera. The second variable is optional. If you want to edit or modify the speed of the effect in editor, we'll create a new variable called public float speed and the default value for this would be 1. We also need a private bool is button or we should say button released. released. Now this bool will check when the button is released, the, the right mouse button. In the update method we'll start with an if statement and we'll check when the button is pressed. So to do that we'll write if input dot get mouse button just button and one one is for the right button and zero is for the left button so under that if statement we'll again check if main camera dot field of view that we saw in the editor is greater than or equal to 45 now this value is totally up to you you can play with your scene and see what looks good but I'll stick to 45 because I've tested it and it works fine if it's not, we'll write main camera dot field of view minus equals one. So it will reduce that by one every frame. So if I save this and go to Unity, and if we hit play, uh, we actually have to assign that world camera to main camera here and then hit play. Now, if I click on the right mouse button, you see it zooms in but it doesn't zoom out because we haven't implemented the code yet. Now let's go and implement that zoom out effect. Now to do that we'll first make that button released false here just in case and here what we'll do we'll create a new if statement and this time we'll write input dot get mouse button up one and we'll mark that button release true. So you want to make sure that the system executes both statements. And we also need a third if statement to check if button released that means true. What we want to do is we want to check again if main camera dot field of view is less than or equal to 70. So this is the default value of the camera. Then we'll get our camera back to the default field of view which is plus plus equals one and we'll save that now this is pretty much what we need let's go back and test it so if I right click leave it you can see the effect zooming in and out we can again change the speed of the effect by changing the value here and we can see the speed of the effect here which has increased now so that's how you get that effect in Unity. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Until then, take care.